In this video, we'll go into some of the basic parameters that adjust the rounded rectangle cross-section shape. If you have a version that's older than 324, you won't see some of the parameters that are available to you here. Note that you can adjust the height and width like you can with most any other cross-section. And you have access to the radius. Now, right now, all is turned on for symmetry, which lets you adjust all of these corner radii at the same time. A maximum radius is in force so that once you hit a semicircle on one side or the other in the top or bottom, the radius stops increasing. And if you go all the way back to zero, you can see that you can actually recover sharp corners in each of these areas. Let's bump that up a little bit and get something that's more similar to a rounded rectangle that you would expect. And look at skew, vertical skew, and keystone. Now keystone is just a ratio of say the top and the bottom, where if you go above 50% or above 0.5, the top is larger than the bottom. If we go under 0.5, the bottom is bigger than the top. Notice if you make that too small, if you make it say zero or one, what it's done is it's driven your radius all the way down to zero, because the only way for that to occur is if one is completely sharp and one distance is zero. So you have the full length on one or the other. It just, it has to be that way. So if you do that and accidentally erase your own radius, you have to go back and set it manually. For now, let's take that back to 0.5 and look at what skew does for us. Now skew shifts the top or bottom sections to the left or the right, and vertical skew shifts them up and down. And notice that you can combine these. But as I'm doing this, you'll also see that the height and the width are not changing. So what's actually happening here is you have the basic height and width that defines what the cross section is supposed to look like. That's really the horizontal distance between the midpoint here and here for width and the midpoint here and here for height. And when we start to play around with how this shape is kind of bent and puttied around around that cruciform, we're changing the physical height and the physical width. So you need to be careful when you're using this that you don't just assume that height means the distance from the top Z and the bottom Z location here. So those are a few ways that you can use the basic components and parameters of rounded rectangle to create all sorts of different shapes.